The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Just a moment of quiet to reflect on the day, what has been happening in this uncertain time and where we have found the presence of God in our lives. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. This evening I'm going to read verses from Psalm 62, which is the psalm appointed for this evening's prayer. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I shall never be shaken. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I shall not be shaken. My salvation and honour depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times. O people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. One thing God has spoken, two things have I heard that you, O God, are strong, and that you, O Lord, are loving. Amen. Amen. I want to introduce you to our dog, Bo, who is here with us tonight. Bo, come say hello. Oh. She normally wants to jump on our knees, but tonight she's... You might want to jump on my knees. So some of you have met Bo before and you know that she is quite an anxious dog and coming from a troubled beginning she's never really quite recovered and sometimes gets really edgy and um, at the moment Bo is probably the happiest she's ever been and she isn't anxious hardly ever. The reason why she, and actually I think many dogs at the moment, are happy and peaceful dogs is because their owners are home and they are not alone. And I am thinking about the psalm and how it says, My soul rests in God alone. He is my fortress, my strength, my salvation. And though times are anxiety provoking and there is uh, every day something of concern uh, to us. My encouragement to us all today is to know that God is at home with us wherever we are and um, however we are concerned about the circumstances of our lives or the world itself. God is home and he's in your home, he's here in, in ours and it is because of his presence that we are able to be very peaceful in the midst of circumstances that are far from peaceful. And like this little dog who at the moment is so happy, we can rest easy in the presence of God, knowing that he holds us, that he has gone nowhere, he's not abandoned his world, he is absolutely um, in the midst of it all and we can rest in him, upon him, knowing that he's got his hands out to save us and hold us. Amen. Amen. A few verses from 1 Peter. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Let us pray. 
Father God, we pray that we would find you in the midst of this night, of the days to come, and most importantly, in our lives. In our lives here in Sutton, in St Helens, Merseyside, our country and our world. A strong, fortress-like, secure place. Lord, we thank you for your love for us in Christ. And we pray at this time for all those who are reflecting that love in their care for so many, particularly those in our National Health Service, for the new hospitals that are being set up rapidly at this time and for all the technology and the work behind it to bring those to fruition. Pray especially for those who have loved ones far away around the world and for plans and procedures for repatriation at this time. And Lord, we pray very tangibly for all those affected by people who have died, for loss, for sadness, for mourning, particularly when so few can come and remember at a graveside or at a crematorium at this time. Lord, may something of your love and light shine in this day, this night, and in the darkness. And may we always recognise that the darkness will not consume it. You are the Lord of light and love, and you shine in its midst. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us his peace. Amen. Amen.